We're surrounded by a pride of lions. It's part of a picture of, of uh, a group of them snoozing in the African sunshine, which won the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award for Michael Nichols. He beat more than 40,000 entrants from across the world. And Michael joins us right now from the Natural History Museum, where he accepted his prize last night from the Duchess of Cambridge. Oh, so many congratulations to you, Michael. Um, tell us a little bit Thank about you. this picture. It's absolutely fabulous. Well, I spent a year with that particular pride of lions, and that moment was very quiet, but they had just attacked the male lion that fathered the cubs, because they weren't sure if he was going to be okay with those cubs. And the, he's in the background behind me, suffering from cuts, and they're kind of celebrating their victory over him. But it, that image is synonymous of the Serengeti. It's very stereotypical of the Serengeti. Yeah, and it, it does have a sort of an almost sort of biblical feel about it because of the, the, the light above the clouds and those powerful rays of sunshine in the distance. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you pray for as a photographer, especially if you're, you're working in the Serengeti, which is so cliche for the, the whole wildlife thing. And I follow so many wonderful photographers that have worked there. When I, when I made that image, I knew that I had found something that spoke bigger, spoke more than just the lions on a rock. I did not want to photograph the lions at night using any light. So we used infrared at night, which I can't see, nor can the lions see. And I, in that day, I just happened to grab my infrared camera. It was coming close to night. And, I, and infrared will really cut through the, the haze and make the clouds dramatic. But half of my project was shot in infrared and half in color, but specifically because I couldn't afford to let those lions lose one meal because they were so edgy. So whenever we followed them hunting, we did it with mil you know, military technology, night vision and infrared, and just, just for the pleasure of seeing them hunt without disturbing them. And Michael, really briefly, we're running out of time a bit. Um, top tips to us who take photographs, not obviously nearly as good as yours. And not of lions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I, you could say again, but I think what you're saying, you have to concentrate. Photography requires focus not just focus of the lens, but focusing on your subject. In the time I was with those lions, every moment that I was with them, I was concentrating, just trying to figure out what they were going to do.